Today we're getting the best of both worlds with this marble cheesecake. It starts by combining crushed Oreos, melted butter, and granulated sugar in a food processor. You can also do this in a Ziploc bag with a rolling pin or a wine bottle if you don't have a food processor. And once that's all combined, we're pouring it into our greased and lined 8 inch cheesecake pan. We're compacting it into a nice even crust and then popping it into the oven to bake. Next we're roasting together our granulated sugar and cornstarch. This prevents the cornstarch from clumping. It's also going to make our cheesecake a lot easier to cut into. And then we whisk in our four blocks of room temperature cream cheese on a low speed just until combined. The texture should be really nice and smooth at this point and then we're going to crack our eggs into a separate container and whisk them together then slowly pour them into our cheesecake batter while mixing on a low speed. So much of making a cheesecake comes down to the method that you use and I find that mixing the eggs in like this just helps them incorporate into the cheesecake batter a lot more easily. At this point I always like to pause and scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl just because sometimes cream cheese can get stuck down there and you really want everything to be mixed together and perfectly smooth at this point. And then we add in our remaining ingredients which are our sour cream and a little bit of vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste. These both add to the flavor of the cheesecake and the sour cream also helps lighten the texture. And then it's time to magically transform two cups of our vanilla cheesecake batter into chocolate cheesecake batter by mixing in some melted semi-sweet chocolate. You want your chocolate to be melted and cooled so I like to melt it about 10 minutes before I plan to add it into the batter. Once all that chocolate is incorporated we're going to alternate spoonfuls of our vanilla and chocolate cheesecake batter on top of our baked and cooled Oreo crust. You're going to have more vanilla cheesecake batter than chocolate batter so you want to make sure you save enough chocolate batter to scoop on top to make a really pretty pretty marbled pattern like this. And then it's time to bake our cheesecake. I really like to bake this using the low and slow method, which takes a long time. It's a very long cooling process, but it gives you a perfectly smooth crack free top and it avoids the center kind of sinking like you can sometimes see on certain cheesecakes. And while it may take a while, it's still super easy and it's totally worth it. It gives this cheesecake such a delicious texture. It's rich, it's creamy, but it's also somehow a little bit fluffy. It really is just so good.